Welcome to another video from UltimateAlgebra.com. In this video, we will be looking at solving equations. This is by far the most important topic in math. Everything you'll do in math, whether it's division or graphs or whatever, is to aid you to solve equations. It's important you watch the full video because it's step by step and also watch all subsequent videos. One step equations. Let's look at an example. X plus two equals five. Solve for X. The idea of solving equations is to move everything with the X to the other side of the equation by performing the opposite operation on it. We want only the X to be on one side of the equation. So here, we want to move the plus two to the other side of the equation. We do that by performing the opposite operation on both sides of the equation. The opposite operation of addition is subtraction. The opposite operation of multiplication is division. The opposite operation of exponent is root or radical. We know the opposite operation of addition is subtraction, so we will subtract two from both sides. Once the opposite operation is done, those two numbers simply cancel out. So here, the two cancels out. Five minus two is three. So X will be equal to three. Let's look at another example. Five A equals 35. Solve for A. Here again, we want to get rid of anything that is with the A. This means we have to get rid of the five. So five A is the same as five times A. Since the five is multiplying, we will perform the opposite operation on it. We know that the opposite operation of multiplication is division. So we will divide both sides by five. Since we performed the opposite operation, we can say that the five will cancel out. Now 35 divided by five is seven. So A equals seven. Now try these questions and leave your answers in the comments section. Number one, solve for X and X over nine equals three. Number two, Solve for x and x minus six equals 12. Number three, solve for b and three b equals 18. Remember, you are just performing the opposite operation on both sides. So in the first question, for example, the nine is dividing. We will perform the opposite operation on both sides of the equation. So you will have to multiply both sides by nine. The nine will cancel out since we performed the opposite operation on it. Three times nine is 27. So X will be 27. Okay, I'll leave the next two for you. In the examples we've done so far, we needed to perform only one operation to solve the questions. So for our first example, we just did subtraction. For our second example, we just did division. And for this one, we just did multiplication. That is why they are called one-step equations. Two-step equations. Let's look at an example to explain it. 2x plus 3 equals 11. Solve for x. We said earlier that the whole idea of solving equations is to get rid of everything and leave the x on one side of the equation. For this question, we will see that we have to get rid of the multiplication by 2 and the plus 3. Remember, we said 2x is the same as 2 times x. 
When there are more than one operation, we use the idea of the reversal of the order of operations to know which one to get rid of first. So here's the order of operation. If you are not familiar with the order of operation, we've put a link in the description for you to master it. It's important that you watch it. Knowing the order of operation will make solving of equations super easy. We can see that in the reversal of the order of operation, we have addition first and multiplication second. So we will get rid of the plus three. We get rid of the plus three by performing the opposite operation on it. So we will subtract three from both sides. The three will cancel out. 11 minus three is eight. So we have two X equals eight. Next, we will get rid of the multiplication by dividing both sides by two, since division is the opposite of multiplication. The two will cancel out. Eight divided by two is four. Therefore, X equals four. Before we take more examples, we want you to do us a huge favor by liking this video. This is really the best thing you can do to encourage us to make more videos. If we don't know you like the videos, we won't have any reason to post more. Okay, let's take our next example. Solve for x and x over 3 minus 4 equals 6. We want to get rid of all the numbers attached to the x so we can have the x alone on one side of the equation. To achieve this, we know that we must get rid of the divided by 3 and the minus 4. Let's write our order of operation. Please, you don't need to be writing the order of operations in your solutions at school. We are using it for teaching purposes. We are using a reversal of the order of operations, so we are working from the bottom up. We will see that in this form, we must do subtraction first and division second. To get rid of the minus four, we must perform the opposite operation on both sides of the equation. So we will add four to both sides. The four will cancel out. Six plus four is 10. We now have x divided by three equals 10. Next, we will get rid of the divided by three. We do this by performing the opposite operation on both sides of the equation. So we will multiply both sides by three. The three will cancel out. 10 times three is 30. Therefore, X equals 30. In most instances, for two-step equations, you will work out your addition or subtraction part first. Then you will work out your multiplication or division part next. Please, this is not always the case. Topics like this requires practice, practice, practice. You want to be so good at it that you don't need to use the reversal of the order of operations anymore. You see a question and you just know which one to do first and second. You can get more practice with the link in the description. Try the following and leave your answers in the comments section. Number four, three X minus five equals 13. Solve for X. Number five, x over five plus three equals eight. Solve for x. Most confusing two-step equations. Two-step equations that require distribution or has an operation in parentheses is the one most students get confused with. In fact, not all math teachers agree that this is a proper two-step equation, but it is. Let's look at two 
parentheses x plus 5 equals 16. We will solve it two ways. Method 1. We will first distribute the 2. The 2 will multiply everything in the parentheses. So the 2 will multiply the x to get 2x plus the 2 will multiply the 5 to get 10. We have 2x plus 10 equals 16. We can see that we have a familiar two-step equation. Let's write our order of operation. Using the reversal of the order of operation, we will do the plus 10 first, and then the times 2. We get rid of the plus 10 by subtracting 10 from both sides. The 10 will cancel out. 16 minus 10 is 6. So we have 2x equals 6. Next, we will get rid of the times 2 by dividing both sides by 2. The 2 will cancel out. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So x equals 3. Here, you realize that we did an extra step of distribution before we could apply the two-step equation. You can solve it this way if it's easy for you, but that's not the best way to solve it. Let's look at method two. For the purpose of teaching, we're going to break this down, but your goal is to be familiar with questions like this so that you don't need all this breaking down and thinking to solve it. Let's write the order of operation again. In the order of operation, parentheses are performed first. When we say parentheses are performed first, what we actually mean is that the operation in parentheses is performed first. So if we have 3 times parentheses 2 plus 4, then we will perform the 2 plus 4 first because it's in parentheses. So basically we perform the addition operation first because it's in parentheses. Similarly, if we have 4 plus 6, parentheses 2, times 7, exponent 3, we will perform the 2 times 7 first because it's in parentheses. So we perform the multiplication operation first because it is in parentheses. Now, since we know that equations are solved with the reversal of the order of operation, it means that we will solve the operation in the parentheses last. With that in mind, let's look at our question. 2 parentheses x plus 5 equals 16. Remember, 2 parentheses x plus 5 is the same as 2 times parentheses x plus 5. Here, since the x plus 5 is in parentheses, we will call it a parentheses operation. So we have multiplication operation and a parentheses operation. Using the reversal of the order of operation, we will do the multiplication first and parentheses last. We get rid of the times 2 by dividing both sides by 2. The 2 will cancel out. 16 divided by 2 is 8. Now we can remove the parentheses to get x plus 5 equals 8. Once you're about to perform the operation in parentheses, 
you can remove the parentheses. We will get rid of the plus 5 by subtracting 5 from both sides. The 5 will cancel out. 8 minus 5 is 3. Therefore, x equals 3. You will realize that here we did only two steps. Therefore, this is a true two-step equation. Try this question. 5 parentheses x minus 7 equals 55. Solve for x. Pause the video and try it first. We can see that we have a multiplication operation and an operation in parentheses. Using the reversal of the order of operation, we will do the multiplication operation first and then the operation in parentheses. We remove the times 5 by dividing both sides by 5. The 5 will cancel out. 55 divided by 5 is 11. So now we have x minus 7 equals 11. Again, once you're about to perform the operation in parentheses, you can remove the parentheses. To remove the negative 7, we will add 7 to both sides of the equation. The 7 will cancel out. 11 plus 7 is 18, so x equals 18. Let's look at parentheses x minus 6 over 4 equals 6. Please pause this video and try it before you watch our solution. Here we have a division operation and an operation in parentheses. Let's write our order of operation. From the reversal of the order of operation, we have to do division first and parentheses last. We get rid of the divided by 4 by multiplying both sides by 4. The 4 will cancel out. 6 times 4 is 24. Now we can remove the parentheses to have x minus 6 equals 24. We get rid of the minus 6 by adding 6 to both sides. The 6 will cancel out. 24 plus 6 is 30. Therefore, x equals 30. When it comes to division, the parentheses is usually not written. So, parentheses, x minus 6 over 4 will be simply written as x minus 6 all over 4. When you say number dividing two or more numbers this way, parentheses is implied. So, a plus b plus c all over 5 is the same as parentheses a plus b plus c all over 5. Please try these and leave your answers in the comments section. Number six, three parentheses x minus five equals 21. Number seven, x plus four all over seven equals six. We will end this video here. Please go over it as many times as needed. This topic is just too important. 
master the use of the reversal of the order of operation because we will be using it in the next video when we look at multi-step equations and more. Please support this channel by liking this video and subscribing. Have a great day. See you in the next video.